not very often that my uh, server rack is powered off. Today was one of those days, so I thought I'd do a quick video just to show what the startup was like, the sound and the, the process and everything. But uh, just to run down through, I have two main servers in here. That top one is a 2U Super Micro, dual E5 2670s, 192 gigs of RAM. I've got uh, about 2 terabytes of SSD storage for VMs. It's running Proxmox, and I've got some other 1 terabyte. 7200 RPM drives for storage. And below that is my 4U storage box, also running Proxmox. Um, currently has 12 uh, uh, 5 terabyte Toshiba drives, a couple of SSDs. Um, it's dual Xeon L5640s with 96 gigs of RAM. The two Dell boxes, those are R210 2 Gen 2s. Uh, those are just empty chassis. I picked those up pretty cheap. Um, well, they have a motherboard in them. I'll eventually get some. Uh, like a an E3 28 or a, a I can't remember what they are. It's a, a decent processor and 32 gigs of RAM in it. Above that, I have a Dell. It's kind of dark. Um, above that, if I could focus. There we go. Above that is my Dell switch. Uh, drawn a blank at the model. It's a 48 port gigabit switch with four SFP plus that have 10 gig connectivity to those two boxes. And down here is my Dell UPS. Above the switch is a cable management bar. Above that is my Ubiquiti Edge Router Pro. Um, here on the left is my Netgear cable modem. Um, at the time of this video, it's their top of the line model. I don't remember what the model is. Over here is my Sonos Boost for my Sonos system. Up here is my Unify AP. It's the UAP AC Pro. Next to that is, on the far right, is a Pine A64 board with a Z-Wave stick running OpenHab 2. And to the left of it is my Odroid UX4. Uh, just playing around with it currently. All these smaller devices are powered by the power strip. And that's where I start by flipping the switch. You can see the lights, the switch fans are the ones spinning up, they will quiet down. And again, I, I apologize for the lack of light, it's uh, about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, internet's been out for past 8 hours or so. So obviously I'm not going to wait until the morning to get everything powered on. The switch should quiet down here in just a second. You can see some lights blinking on the side that it's loading the config. And the switch is initialized. So next I power on my storage box. I do it before my hypervisor because of NFS mounts.
now the fans run at 100% during the startup process um, and now that the fans have quieted down these servers are actually going to start booting now uh, generally I like to wait until the fans quiet down and then I'll power on the next box which should give the storage box plenty of time to fully boot and initialize the NFS mounts before the containers and, and VMs that use them get online. So now I'm going to turn on the hypervisor. The hypervisor is not nearly as loud as the 4U box as it boots up. Both of these are running the same 920 uh, SQ power supplies. I did have to buy replacements for both of these. They're the quietest, quietest, most quiet available power supplies for super micro boxes of this generation. And they work quite well. This rack is in my home office where I work from home. And uh, this is a normal volume which is lower than, than that of a box fan on a medium setting. Looks like the storage box is online, it's pingable. The secondary box should be posting now and will be up in another 60 seconds or so. Then my Linux containers and a couple KV on VMs will start powering on and uh, that's the full startup process. Doesn't take too long, it's not too loud. And it has plenty of power. Don't know if I'll be able to show this. This whole rack is uh, a little less than 600 watts, around 600 watts. Um, with this UPS, I have about a 30 minute runtime, which is more than plenty to shut things down in the event of a power failure, which is not very often. Side view showing rails. And a rear view showing some messy cables. If you can. Again, it's, it's very dark. You can see the Tingit cables. They're there, very dark, blurry. Again, this is a quick video just to show. Hopefully in the next few months, the two Dell boxes will be online and I'll find a use for them. But uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.